Hello and welcome to Starfish Maths. My name's Sarah and today I want to derive the quadratic formula. I absolutely love doing this. We've all used the quadratic formula so much and it's lovely to see where it comes from. Now in order to do this you need to be really confident completing the square because we're going to be using the general case using letters instead of numbers. So if you're not sure or if you haven't done that yet, please do check out my other video on that. If you are happy completing the square and using it to solve quadratic equations, then brilliant. Stay with me, grab a pen and paper and have a go alongside. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Let's get started. What I thought we'd do is use an example here with numbers and run it alongside the general case. So we'll take both step by step so we can see what's going on. Now I've deliberately picked some pretty nasty numbers over here, so we're going to get fractions so we can see a bit clearer what we're doing over here. The first thing to do is take the 2 that's in front of the x squared out as a common term, a common factor, sorry, from these two terms. Remember you don't need to take it out of the third term, that can just stay. Let's do the same thing over here and take a out as a common factor. Okay, now we're going to complete the square by halving this number here, so we need another factor of 2 on the bottom of the fraction. We've still got the minus 1 from up there, but we also need to take off this number squared, 9 over 16, times by 2 as well. Let's do the same over here. So we've got then another factor of 2 on the bottom because we've halved it. We've got the plus c from there and now we need to take off the b squared over 2a squared times by a. Let's tidy that up. Now that I've simplified this fraction, I notice that there's a common factor on the top and the bottom, which is a, so I'm going to cancel an a from the top and the bottom, so we're going to use the squared on the bottom. The denominator is 4a, and I want to have the same denominator here, so I'll put it, I'll times the top and the bottom both by 4a. Great, we've now completed the square and we're in a position to solve these quadratic equations. We'll take this term over to the other side first. Okay, when I take this term onto this side, that negative b squared is going to become positive and the positive 4ac will become negative. So I'll write it that way around because it's a bit neater. Do you recognise any of the quadratic formula coming through? Okay, let's take the 2 down to the side by dividing. I can actually cancel that down. And we'll do the same thing on this side, we'll take the A down. Now we can square root. Now don't forget, when you square root, you get a positive and a negative. I don't need these brackets. It's positive and negative. Now I can simplify that a bit because we'll keep the plus minus root 17 on top. But root 16 we know is 4. Similarly over here, we'll keep the pos positive and negative b squared minus 4ac, but the bottom, the denominator we can square root, square root of 4a squared will be 2a. Okay, last step. 
is getting rid of the three quarters by taking it away. So we'll have a negative three quarters on this side. It's all the same denominator, so we'll just put it there. And we've got the plus minus root 17. Same thing on this side. And there you have it. The quadratic formula. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Have fun.